Friedrich Schiller's Wallenstein II, Wallenstein's Todd, Wallenstein II, Wallenstein's Death, delves into the complexities of power, ambition, and fate, showcasing the downfall of the titular character, General Wallenstein. The play unfolds against the backdrop of the Thirty Years' War, exploring the intricate web of political intrigue, personal motivations, and the inexorable forces that lead to Wallenstein's demise. Central to the narrative is Wallenstein's internal struggle, a conflict between his aspirations for power and the ominous forebodings of his impending downfall. Schiller masterfully portrays the psychological turmoil of a man torn between his ambition and a sense of foreseen doom. Wallenstein's fatal flaw lies in his hubris and his willingness to manipulate circumstances to achieve his grand ambitions. His ambition blinds him to the warnings and advice of others, ultimately sealing his fate. Throughout the play, Schiller employs dramatic tension to highlight the clash between fate and free will. Wallenstein's belief in astrology and predestination shapes his decisions, underscoring the theme of inevitability. Despite his knowledge of a foretold fate, Wallenstein attempts to defy it through sheer willpower and strategic maneuvering. However, his efforts prove futile, emphasizing the futility of human resistance against destiny. The play's characters serve as embodiments of different ideological and moral standpoints. Octavio, Wallenstein's trusted lieutenant, represents loyalty and adherence to duty. Max, Wallenstein's son-in-law, embodies youthful idealism and moral integrity, serving as a foil to Wallenstein's Machiavellian machinations. Their interactions and conflicts contribute to the exploration of ethical dilemmas amidst the chaos of war and power struggles. Schiller intricately weaves themes of betrayal and loyalty into the narrative, showcasing the fragility of alliances in the pursuit of power. Wallenstein's reliance on astrological predictions leads him to dismiss Octavio's warnings, creating rifts in their relationship. The betrayal by his trusted ally intensifies Wallenstein's isolation, amplifying his vulnerability and accelerating his downfall. The downfall of Wallenstein is not merely a consequence of external forces but also a result of his internal conflicts and moral compromises. His descent into isolation and paranoia, driven by his pursuit of power, ultimately alienates him from those he once trusted. This alienation, coupled with the shifting tides of political alliances, becomes the catalyst for his tragic end. Schiller's language and dramatic techniques, such as soliloquies and monologues, offer profound insights into the character's motivations and inner turmoil. Wallenstein's introspective moments reveal the torment of a man grappling with his conscience and the weight of his decisions. These introspections serve to humanize Wallenstein, eliciting empathy from the audience despite his flaws and actions. The play's tragic conclusion serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of unchecked ambition and the inescapability of fate. Wallenstein's demise reinforces the idea that while individuals may strive to defy destiny, they are ultimately bound by forces beyond their control. Schiller leaves the audience with a poignant portrayal of the consequences of moral compromise and the complexities of human nature. Wallenstein II, Wallenstein's Todd, stands as a timeless exploration of power dynamics, moral dilemmas, and the inevitable clash between ambition and fate. Schiller's masterful portrayal of characters and themes continues to captivate audiences, inviting reflection on the intricacies of human ambition and the transient nature of power.